In today's episode, let's see if we can continue our march north through Pella and towards these filthy full stacks that the Antigonids keep pumping out somehow <laughs> and see whether we can finally secure our legacy as the king of Macedon that was Pyrrhus' ambition all those years ago. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. Last time we finally took the city of Pella, the seat of Alexander, and we are looking further afield to these borders. Now, there are lots of borders in the north with the Thracians, so we're going to try and avoid them for as long as possible and just take sort of these southern areas and this central bit without going too far towards the Illyrians either. But it's going to be a fine balance and the Antigonids still have some absolutely brutal full stacks everywhere, which is pretty darn crazy, I'm not going to lie, and a pretty scary proposition for us too. So I think this turn, we are going to wait in Pella because I would love if those Macedonian troops... Just come down and siege Pella, and we can take a defensive siege battle at Pella. I think that would be absolutely glorious. In other news, we have this army ready to fight this one. And I really don't think this army is going to be that scary. It's a lot of missile troops. Ours is the opposite, our army. But with our cavalry, I'm hoping that we can at least run them down but let's get into the end turn, guys. Like I say, we're just going to leave this army in here, even though they've got movement points. So we're going to leave them there. We even can't really come out because of Athens. So although Athens did a solid for us last episode by stopping Secundus getting to us, they're kind of cucking us now. So thanks, Athens. That's brilliant. This army also really needs to be dealt with because... It's just blocking trade, causing devastation. Let's actually have a look at the devastation. Yeah, 77. It's not too bad. So, yeah, it's not a not a huge priority over fighting these goddamn massive full stacks everywhere. <laughs> right, guys, let's end the turn there and let's see what happens. And Kizikus has been killed. I wonder who by. That's interesting to see. I think when we get to episode 10, we'll do a toggle fog of war and have a look around everywhere and that antigonid army uh, athens is still just cooking everyone so well done athens it's really annoying what you're doing right now and i don't know why you're doing it we are neutral can i get my diplomat to talk to athens that is the main thing byzantium also are just being bastards so um yeah let's come back let's see if we can you know maybe talk to athens any athenian boys around here just tylus Adrissians, we're going to have to go around this way. That is Sinope over there, and the Seleucids are over here too, so we might as well talk to them, see whether we can potentially get an alliance in there. What else do we have? Boetian League and the Bessi are allies, and the GCS and Rome have declared a ceasefire, so I'm assuming Rome doesn't even have, um, you know, Ancon right now. Oh, no! <laughs> Alexander! Alexander, my friend, is going to do the Olympic Games. So minus 100% movement. I mean, it still looks like he can move. So I'm guessing if we go to stats, he's still got positive 17 movement points because he's so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's uh, let's probably wait one more turn then. I know it's I know it's not very blitzy, but yeah, one more turn will be fine. Now, what I'm thinking of doing, we definitely don't want to fight that army with this one. So, attacking this guy, though, is going to be a little bit tricky because they are definitely looking at this terrain, going to be on the side of a mountain. So, that's not fantastic. We've also got, yes, finally, we've got some Ambrachio Phalangites. Let's retrain them as well straight away. Get that in there. Now, what do we want to build? I think we want to build the market and then the blacksmith. So... Let's go for the market to start with. Does it have population growth? No, it does not. That's unfortunate. For Nike as well, we're getting the stables. We've got another Deuteroy. So let's go for another one in there. Fast loss. Again, another Prodromoi and Ferai. Let's go for more Acontistai. And we will send them up maybe when those guys have retrained. Pasaron now got the academy, which is brilliant. That's going to help that guy 
McGovern. Let's look at what we want to build, though. We are building that in there. Let's have a look at some of our good areas. So, like Larissa and then also Ayana. We definitely want to keep, um, you know, building in Ayana because it's so rich. It is not quite the richest settlement we have. Pella is actually the richest settlement we have now. But, yeah, it's pretty darn good still. It's still the second richest that we have. And we definitely want to build ports in places where we can. So let's have a look at Ferai. Anything to build there? No, we're building in there as well. So let's build maybe a couple of sewers in our mainlands if we don't have any sewers going. We definitely need to build an Ambrakia every turn too. So yeah, no sewers available over here. Let's have a look maybe at Oricon. I don't think we've built in Oricon for a long, long time. So yeah, nothing really worthwhile there. So let's go for the crop rotation or the public baths over here in Pasaron. And then anywhere else we can maybe build a temple or something. We can build a trader in Dion. That's actually going to help a little bit. 84 because they're trading with so many different things. When we can upgrade the port here, that is going to be amazing. This is going to be a very rich settlement. So let's keep up that. And let's go for this battle. We've got to, haven't we? We've got to, guys. We, we really do have to try and get rid of this army. Like I say, it's going to be a little bit annoying trying to fight these guys because of their massive amount of uh, missile troops. But we should still be fine. They have hardly any infantry. That's the main thing. So we are going to take a bit of a few javelins to the face. But we should be able to, uh, you know, tank it and then get around the back to kill all of these missile boys. So let's get into the fight, guys. Okay. Something appalling. Something for everyone in what I must now say. Yes, let's win. We will win. Many of us may die, but all of us will be brave. Well, this is a very um ambient battle map right now, and of course it is very much hillside. So that's gonna help their missile troops quite a bit. I'm going to try and preserve my Deuteroy the best as I can because they are a lot harder to retrain than these Greek hoplites. Same thing with the Zistaphoroi, although I have a feeling that they're going to be needed quite a bit <laughs> in this battle. So where are they? Okay, they're over here. Let's get over there. I mean, I'm bringing this Akontistai up, up here, but I don't think they're going to get there in time to deal with the battle. And this is... Especially with the amount of missile troops, this is definitely a scenario where we have to get in close to them. Well, men, we are very close now, so let's keep going. Our guys are not too tired. They're still fresh, so that is fantastic. Hopefully, we can just get at least our Greek hoplites through far enough to deal with them. Illyrian infantry too. I don't think we've seen these guys as of yet. But yeah, this is fine. We'll also get our, you know, missile troops around slightly. And it looks like they're a little bit... Oh, the Yuzo are going for an attack, I think. So let's keep coming forward. Let's see whether we can pressurize them slightly. Get into a charge or something like that. We'll also bring our, you know, phalangites forward. Just to deal with them if we want to. And we'll bring our cavalry round the side. Here they go. What is that? Is that a Prodromoi? Oh, classic. Of course it is. So you guys get in the fight there. You guys come forward too. And we're going to fully surround this unit if we can. And we're going to try and get these guys forward too. They've got so many missile troops. Look how many missile troops they have. Let's try and get our missile troops forward as well. These guys, yeah, there we go. Into the back of those boys. Actually, you guys get there. I think I think you're probably close enough. So we may just be chasing them for a little while until we can get our cavalry in here. But let's bring the guys forward. Let's also try and get our Deuteroy around to the back of them. I ideally don't want, you know, uh, the Deuteroy to take javelins to the back. So I don't mind chasing these guys until we can finally get rid of them. You guys just keep chasing them. Like I say, they're going to charge us at some point or we're going to catch them at some point like this. There we go. Yuzonoi now. Let's bring our cavalry around this way. Keep on going. 
And then we're going to get the Deuteroy over there and some more Deuteroy in there. So ideally, guys, get there. Go, go, go. Do not get engaged in the combat just for no reason. And let's try and get rid of those boys. So our, yeah, our hoplites are not very good. That's the main thing. They're just really not good. So we need to keep bringing our missile troops forward and use our cavalry to deal with these boys. So let's get you in there. Let's get you now in there. And let's go forward with the, with the attack. Why do you run that way when you go in here, guys? I don't know, but fine. Now get the phalanx in there, and now let's attack these boys as well. You guys keep coming through. Keep coming. Keep coming. There we go. Push them. Squeeze them. So, cavalry, how are we doing? Oh, my God. We take. How are we losing so badly against you, Zonoi, man? <laughs> you, Zonoi, one of the worst units. We've caught these guys, but we should be able to kill the Progeroy and the Slingers so easily. But playing on very hard, it doesn't seem like that's the case. You guys need to fire at the Uzonoi. We're just going to, you know, save the rest of our cavalry, really. You guys now fight that Uzonoi. Actually, we'll charge this Uzonoi in the back. Should be a lot easier. But yeah, poor, um, what's he called? Iskirion. First battle for him, really. Oh, 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 nope. We don't want that. Let's get up here to fire maybe at the Greek Slingers. Okay, instantly routed them. Fantastic. Good. So we are going to chase them down, definitely. These guys need to get up here to fight, fire at the Uzonoi. You guys get up there to fire at them. That is glorious. And what do we have here in terms of the infantry? This guy, yeah. This army, you know, this army is not exactly a very useful army. Um, it is not designed to fight battles. It is designed to take settlements and just be meat shields, pretty much. So hopefully we can fully destroy this army. It's still got 57% of their troops left. There we go. That's going to help us a lot. So you guys fire. So keep on killing them. These guys have got, you know, lost most of the men now. You guys get in there. Fire at them. Keep firing. Keep firing, my friends. Kill them. These guys. Yeah, you guys go and help out with that over there. Archers wise, let's go and fire at the Greek Slingers. And is it worth firing in there? I think so. Hopefully. Let's watch this first volley and just see whether there's much friendly fire or not. Fire, guys. Fire. I want to force you to fire. Fire. Go on. Go on, guys. You can do it. I know there's men in front of you. Well, let's try here and see whether they'll do it. But this should pretty much just be a grind now. Now fire? Well, apparently the Thoreofori have gone. So if we get around this way now, we should be able to fire on them pretty easily. Fire now? Fire? Fire? There we go. Fantastic. That's a lot better. Good. Well, we'll end the battle there uh, very soon, guys. And I will see you there. A glorious victory, my friends. We took a bit of damage, but it was mainly just those hoplites who are... As we found out, both the hoplites and the deuteroy are pretty darn trash now. Especially against good units. So they just, they just melt, really, the hoplites, unfortunately. But a good victory, nonetheless. Hopefully this will allow us to move and maybe take one more settlement before we need to go back for retraining. But I guess we'll find out. So the problem we now face... Is that this... Oh, this army actually has no movement points either. So I think if we go in here, we should be... How do we not have movement there? You are kidding me. Come on, this has happened so many times. <laughs> oh, we, we only... We don't have enough. I should have pressed on that. And I think they would have managed to do it. But uh, I thought we'd have an, at least enough movement points to move on a little bit. Let's get this on too high. Also, I have been told by the mod team that by enslaving everywhere, our guys can get bad traits. But, I mean... <laughs> yeah, Alexander's just so good that it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Shameless Despoiler, obviously, isn't great because he doesn't share the loot. But I don't think that is from enslaving everywhere. But, yeah, he probably got Heartless Ruler from that or something like that. But, yeah, so we will look to occupy a little bit more. My reasoning for enslaving is still very much the same. You know, we take a settlement that is pretty much functionally useless to us, like, for example, Bokiria, and take that population and put it into a useful settlement. However, for some of these bigger cities, 
like Thessalonica and stuff, it's definitely worth occupying if we can with the public order. So I guess we'll we'll uh, you know adjust that based on how we're doing at each point. This place is you know growing a lot, which is fantastic. So I probably should have occupied this one. We can actually get gold mining now too. So next turn I may queue that in. 2,500 gold from mining is pretty darn insane. So definitely worth getting that. And it's also get trade buildings in here because it's going to trade that gold with everywhere that it can. Which unfortunately is only a couple of settlements, but that's fine. Anyway, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see whether this army can really reach us or not. The classic AI <laughs> diplomacy. They are going to attack us, Pionia, apparently, if we don't give them 300 denarii for six turns. No, Until next time. but how about an alliance? <laughs> nope, they definitely don't want that. Let's give them map information then. Now, it may force them to actually attack us if we do that. So, do you know what? Yeah, screw you, Pionia. I don't want to deal with you. So, it looks like that big army is still pretty much just stuck. Doesn't know what to do. Same with the Athenians. So I would really like to get to this settlement here. I don't think it mines or anything. But if we have a look at this area, we've got our spy over here now. These are all minor cities. Like four or five minor cities in this area. Four minor cities plus another one at Philippi over here. And two large towns at a town. So this area is going to be insanely rich. All with ports too. So I wonder where you're actually trading with. You're actually trading with the Boeotians right now via the sea. And that is making us a shit ton of money. Very nice indeed. So I think our only option really here now is to leave. We are going to leave that Thurio Foroi behind for now. Let's get that down to low. Yeah, there we go. And let's knock that, that guy away so he's not blocking our route anywhere could auto resolve that but i don't want to i really don't want to fight that army it's just pointless but we can go for this draw out battle they will likely ret retreat but i'm thinking we can either go for the draw out battle or we can go and just stand on this bridge i think we stand on the bridge we don't have missile troops per se but i'm hoping that antigonid army will think that it can beat us now so let's go, and let's hope that they attack us on the bridge. That would be glorious if they can do that. I have no idea where that big full stack's gone, so let's have a look through here. It's all the way over there now. Uh, are we still, you know, part of the Olympic Games? Let's have a look down at the bottom. Spring. Yeah, he was an unsuccessful athlete. Unfortunately, Alexander, as much as a god that he is on the battlefield and at administering settlements... <laughs> He's not quite a god when it comes to the Olympic Games. Both of them actually lost, unfortunately. But Fenike now got these stables. That's glorious. Let's keep on building that in there. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Actually, no. We were going to build those mines. Well, I think it's definitely worth queuing them in at least. Iginion, we got the, got the um, communal farming. And Ayana, we got the sewers. So, good. Let's have a look now at what troops we want to train we're getting a deuteroy there getting another ambrachio phalangite here and then across in this way we're getting a prodromoy and another acontisti and then we'll probably group all those boys together before sending them north we can also train in larissa so i do need to consider that i'm thinking potentially getting some more archers i know our archers here are trash but it's probably worth doing that just for now to see how we get on and now we've got three thousand we can spend on actually building so Let's look at Fenike. Again, we were going to build the stables, so we don't want to there. Um, and Brachia, we are building still, so that's good. Uh, any nice, you know, money-giving buildings I, I really want right now. I mean, Lucas doesn't have roads, but it doesn't need roads. So I'm thinking for Lucas, we go for the sewers, if there's nothing else economically available. Or we could go for sewers at Tricka, but it's got a bit more population growth than Lucas anyway. Iginion 2 would be a good option. And yeah, nothing else really in there. So let's just go for... How's the trade here? Oh, not good. Not good. So let's just go for Sewers at Iginion because it's got 3% already. So let's stack that up. Let's also go for this settlement here. 
Not exactly very well protected, but that's fine. I hope we can actually chain through onto this one. Although, yeah, with those troops, that's going to be a bit of a brutal battle. But if we can chain through both of these, that'd be glorious for us to take both of them and then go back for retraining. We may have a new enemy soon in Pionia. And I really don't want to fight the Thracians because those were on by Foray and Thracian Noble Cavalry. <laughs> Pretty insane to deal with, I'm not going to lie. Let's talk to the Seleucids. Alliance, my friends? No, because you're allied with the Antigonids. Of course you are. Of course you are. You love that, don't you? You dickheads. <laughs> Come on. You're my favorite nation and you won't even ally me. Bastards. But anyway, let's have a look for an alliance over here. No one. Literally no one. We have a hundred reputation. We are pretty darn strong. But no one wants an alliance. <laughs> Ah, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Love to see it. Love to see it. Thank you, AI. Thank you. Very nice indeed. It may even be worth coming down south a little bit more too. Let's keep on popping up north. Pioni is actually quite big. I did not realize they were this big. I thought if we were going to fight them, it would be like, you know, a two-city war or something. Hopefully they are fighting other people though. So, but the main, the main thing we need to worry about is, of course the um the antigonids 100 percent. so let's end the turn there and let's see what happens and now sinope has been destroyed all the little minor greek cities are getting absolutely gobbled up here let's have a look what do they have i mean we've got to go for that battle haven't we guys like that is definitely something we've got to go for like we can't just leave that army just milling around 100 percent not but let's do everything else first Another agent from Pionia has been discovered. That's a surefire sign that they're probably going to declare war on us soon. And they have got their army moving too. And oh no, Ascyrion has an epidemic of typhus. Well, to get rid of that... Hmm. Because that's going to destroy... Oh my god, have you... Yeah, th th there's definitely some attrition going on there. I think, or there will be next turn... So we definitely need to get into a city. So even if it is an enemy city, we need to get into a city. We've got more Ambrachios. So let's get them moving. We'll join up with the rest of the troops around here. And we'll decide what we want to do with them too. We'll get the Prodromoi in there just in case rebels decide to attack at some point. Which wouldn't be ideal. Join all them together. And the Deuteroi can pop around this way too. And we've built. Yeah, Thebai Pathiotides now has a port. Fantastic. Yeah, come and blockade this one, you bastards. <laughs> Baroya now has silver mines. Oh, good. I didn't even realize that we're getting silver mines. But we have been sieged down at Baroya, which is not good. So what I'm thinking is let's go for this battle first in Bakiria and try to get rid of the typhus or whatever it is that we have. And then I'll probably... Way to turn in there just so the troops, you know, don't get worse and worse. Because what I've found is if you go into a city, it's a lot easier to get rid of it than if you're out on the field. I don't know whether that's just my experience or whether it's the reality, but I guess we shall find out. But first of all, let's go for this battle. Secundus with his one command versus the glorious leader that is Alexander. Let's go. Let's get in the battle. They got some Pisidian Javelin men. Predominantly Thuriophoroi. I do think this is going to be a really brutal battle. But our main strength is our cavalry here. They've got a lot of missile troops too. So yeah, our main strength by far is our cavalry. Our infantry is not so good. And we have no missile troops. So yeah, it's mainly going to be about the cavalry in this battle. So let's see what we can do. Yes! Glorious Alexander! Yes. Drive the dogs back to the kennel. And luckily they don't really have anywhere that's too uphill. Just here. So, let's get our guys. We're going to take this slow. Like I've said in a couple of episodes. When we tend to go really fast, that's when I tend to make mistakes. So, let's try not to bum rush them too badly. <laughs> But we shall see whether we do bum rush them in the end or not. <laughs> Get the Ak Akonanians there. They can be grouped. 
Let's group the Zistaphoria. We're going to keep Cavalry Contingent together. And we're going to keep the Prodromoi together. The Prodromoi pride pr Pridemily? <laughs> Primarily, we're going to use them to get rid of the missile troops. So let's see where they are. And let's come forward. Here we go. We are opposite them now. This is going to be a pretty brutal, uh, brutal battle. You can see they've got a lot of people milling on the flanks there and a lot of Thurio Foroi in behind too. Predominantly, we need to worry about the Phalangites though. They are by far their best troops. So we're going to keep a compact formation to start with. And then we're going to look to expand it as our cavalry gets dominance in this battlefield. So keep coming forward, men. We'll get our cavalry predominantly around this right-hand side to try and kill that general. And we're going to swap over with the Prodromoi onto this side too. So let's keep coming forward. Keep on coming, guys. This is what we're going to have to do. Set up a good line and just move forward. We're going to take a bit of a battering from the javelins, but they should want to run away. There we go. I mean, they might not. They might not get away. That's going to be very good for us. So keep there. And come forward. And that has sorted our battle line out. And they have already started routing. Wow. Wow. That's not ideal for them. But it's good for us. So we're going to hold that battle line for now. And I don't... Because I don't want bits of the battle line just jagged like usual. And we're just going to skirmish with the boys for a little bit. We've got our own javelin troops there chucking javies. So that should be really nice. Not really killing many because, of course, we're firing into the front of them. But it should be reducing their hit points, reducing their armor down, all that sort of thing. Looks like these guys are going to go classically for the, the cavalry <laughs> that they love to do all the time. So let's get in the fight there. No, actually, they're going for the charge on those boys. So let's come around with these guys. And what is going on here? We've got Zistaphore and Thracian Light Lancers. Well, we should win. We should win. If we get the charge off too, we should definitely win. That's the main thing. We get the charge, especially on the Thracian Light Lancers. Yeah, they've broken already. So kill the Zistaphore, my friends. Right, we're going to also come forward with this unit. And we're going to try and get our guys into there. Let's now kill the General's Bodyguard. Surround him if we can. That's going to be majorly effective for us. What is going on over here? This is a mess. Let's get these guys here. And let's also get our Prodromoy in there to try and fire some missiles at them. You guys fight the Chalka Speeders. There we go. The general's dead. Good. Glorious. Now we've got free reign with our cavalry. I don't really care about their other cavalry. So let's keep coming forward. You guys in here. Let's get you to fight them. You can also fight them. And we're just going to get through. What's that Uzoni? No. Let's, let's not do the Uzoni because they tend to be quite good. Let's go for the Thracian Light Lance. Tend to be quite good on very hard, should I say. Not actually good in at all, really. <laughs> Kill the Thurio Foroi. Right, Prodromoi, time for you to do something more useful than this. This flank's taking a bit of a battering, it seems. You guys get the Chalka Speeders. You guys hold. You guys are holding too. And yeah, we've destroyed that cavalry. Let's kill the Zista Foroi now. And then we can finally look to destroy the rest of the light infantry. Like, if we charge through here, we should do an absolute job on those boys. Let's come forward with a Prodromoi. It looks like they are going for a bit of a fight. So let's bring the Athamanians up this way. Let's go through this Uzonoi. We shouldn't really die on the charge here. That's the main thing, hopefully. Hopefully a good charge too. Well, well, when I say hopefully a good charge, I mean a good charge, not just a jog. Come on, men. They probably charged from too far away, but we are just running rampant through them. So there we go. That's better. Starting to absolutely shred them now. Good. Break them, please. Good. And then let's just go straight through into the Greek Slingers. Should be able to just run through these guys pretty much and just kill them all. So let's keep going. Prodromoi 2, let's bring you into the fight. There we go. Absolutely blitz these boys. So you guys chase them. You, the rest of you, chase the others. Infantry is just holding right now, and that's good. That's what we want to do. We want to just hold them off until we've dealt with all the people in the back. You guys get after those guys. And yeah. Rest of you should be good. Kill those Greek Slingers. Like I say, we do want to chase them down. Because we do want to, um, you know, win the battle and kill this whole army. So I'm going to use the Prodromite to do that for now. And get through 
this Yuzonoi. Let's get our guys set up over here. And then we can focus on charging infantry wherever we want to. Let's get those guys in that way. You guys, you guys are really taking a battering here. But you are just holding the line while we try to win this battle, which is glorious for us. So let's go. Here is the Yuzonoi. Like I said previously, I don't think we should need to worry about dying to those guys too much. These guys over here, what do we have? No one wavering. You can chase after them then. Come on. Hopefully that was a good charge. I mean, it seems okay. Not the best charge, but not, a, not an awful charge either. So good charge there for the boys. I'm so glad we've got cavalry now, guys. <laughs> it is insanely better when you've got cavalry. Some of them died then, trying to kill these boys, just pushing them out of the way. There we go. 304 is dead. Just go straight in the side of the Chalka Speeders. We should lose a few men because of the Phalangites, but we might break them. There we go. Broken them. You guys need to chase down them. You guys can come back to chase down whoever we get next. And the rest of the cavalry. This is just so much better with Cav. <laughs> Let's get in the back of the Thurio Foroi here. Though we shouldn't die on the charge too much to the Thurio Foroi. We're losing a few men there trying to get through our own men, unfortunately. Which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, that is our own fault. So, oh well. But the Deuteroi took a battering. We do need to make sure that we can retrain these guys very soon. Let's come out then. Let's come out. Let's also, you know, get out just so we don't die for no reason. You can chase down the Thurio Foroi. Okay, this uh, Thurio Foroi is back now. So let's get the Greek Hoplites in there. You guys get there. You guys get there to fight them. You guys also do the same. And this cavalry is very tired. Very tired. That's why we've used our Prodromite to chase down everyone. So, yeah, I think we just need to worry mainly about these Macedonian Hoplites. Let's get up this way. And potentially this blob here too. So let's go for them. I know our guys are very tired, like we've said. Keep on fighting, men. Keep on fighting. Here come the Prodromoi. Anyone else we need to chase down? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're chasing down everyone. Good. So, yes. Finally, a battle that has been managed well for once. <laughs> you guys face them. You guys face them. You need to get out of the way so we can actually charge. Uh, actually, let's charge this block. You guys can charge this block and this block. And then the rest of these boys can charge that other block. Let's go. Rally the men. Rally the men. Let's go. This should be it. This should be it. Straight on to the Thurio Foroi, guys. Straight on to them. Straight on. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Now on to this unit. They're already wavering. There we go. That's what we like to see. Let's chase them down. Got any more Prodromoys to spare? Yes, we do. Fantastic. You guys get over there. This Prodromoy come this way. And yes, this is this has actually worked out pretty darn well. Using the heavy cavalry to charge. Let's get them all out now. Okay, there we go. Everyone's routing apart from this single unit, which is shaken. So let's get these guys up here. Let's also start to actually chase down some more of these units. Because I don't think we're going to use this cavalry against that hoplite. I think we can just break it. Sorry, against the Chalka Speeders. We'll just break them with our overwhelming numbers of infantry. Prodromoi, keep on going. You guys keep on going. Uh, yeah, that's all our Prodromoi. Anyone else escaping? Doesn't look like it. Good. Now get the phalanx down and let's attack them. And then we should be peachy, guys. Well, a glorious victory. That was a lot nicer, wasn't it? A lot less messy than some of the ones we've done previously. But look at that. Epiro General's bodyguard. Alexander with the 392 kills. <laughs> what a man. What a beast. What a General's bodyguard unit he has as well now with the extra valor that he's got from some of his stats. Zistaphore as well doing very well. Prodromoi 2, mainly from chasing down the enemy. But everyone did a good job there. We worked in unison as a team. As a team, my friends, one of the Greek hoplites looks like they lost some experience, but a great victory nonetheless. Glorious, glorious victory, my friends. So the question we have now is what do we do with this army? I mean, we've got to at least go for that draw out battle, right? And we might have to knock that army away. Oh, God damn Athens. <laughs> Athens is just being such a little bastard. Fuck off.
What are you doing? Just fuck off. Like, stop standing there. We're not at war. You're not at war with the Antigonids. Just go and do something. You can actually use them to do something. Come on. What dickheads? Honestly, that has completely cooked us now. Because I wanted to do this draw out battle. And maybe this one too. But it seems like that's not going to be an option. Um, this army still doesn't have much movement. So let's go for Bakiria. It should be a nice, simple battle. But whenever we say that, it turns into a bloodbath. So <laughs> Only a couple of units of uh, missile troops. But let's see what we can do. Here we go. We're trying to surround this old unit here. But they really want to get back to the town square. So let's see if we can surround them or not. I don't really mind. If we do surround them... We're going to get our guys all the way down there. Let's get our cavalry this way too. And you guys up that way as well. Not through that way, actually. Through this way. And then that way. No. What? Do you press control and then that? There we go. That's better. And let's get our missile boys in this fight too. Here we go. Looks like they really just wanted to get back to the town square. I don't know why, but fine. And hopefully we can come at them... From a slightly different angle now. Let's get in there. What the hell? No, 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 no. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Who are these? What are these idiots doing? I... They... It showed them going this way. Come on. Fucking hell, man. Oh. Pricks. Honestly. Fucking pricks. Right, let's come around this way. Um, right then. 61 of these hoplites. Yeah, I don't think... It necessarily matters too much. Let's come around this way. There we go. Good. Could try to surround these guys. Let's do it because I don't think those hoplites are really going to move off here. They're firing uh, fire arrows. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. I don't know why they are, but fine. And then if they want to come around, we'll stick that guy there as well. Come on, archers. Get up that way. There, there you go. You go the right way. Well done, my friends. Well done. So let's come around, see what we can do. Hopefully, these Macedonian hoplites will actually stay there. One time that we want them to stay there. <laughs> yep, there we go. Good. And if they want to attack us, we'll get our guy here too. And we can destroy this Greek archer unit pretty handily. Very nice indeed. Keep firing into them, my friends. Hopefully, you're not doing too much friendly fire. But hopefully, the double line of Phalangites should really shred those guys. That's their general dead. So if we can break these boys, that would be so good. Kill them all. Kill them all. Good. Here comes the archer. So we're going to get the archer maybe like right here. So kill them all. And then we'll go after the mercenary hoplites down there too. Go, go, go. I don't care about whatever this is. 27 archers or something. Kill them if you can, but let's get rid of those hoplites instead. Bring the archers here so they can fire in there. And we are in a very good spot. Very good spot. Yeah, there we go. Broken them. Broken them. Keep on going, guys. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. In fact, you just stay there. Just stand there. That should, that should help. <laughs> that should help. There we go. Why are you not killing them? Like, kill them for God's sake. Kill them. There, they're fighting to the death now. That's good. That should hold them. So let's kill them all. There we go. That's better. You've managed to do it. Well done. Well done, guys. So let's fire at the hoplites. Like, I don't really care about friendly fire in the back of these guys. Like I said previously, they're a very trash unit, really. The uh, Greek hoplites for us. Very trash indeed. So if we can fire at the Greek hoplites and maybe get a few kills, then it should hopefully bring them off the town square. Otherwise, we're just going to have to get our phalangites up here to deal with it. But that's fine. Not a problem at all. You guys just keep on going after the uh, the archers so we can break them. And let's speed this up. Okay, they've kind of come off the town square. So let's see if we can push them off. We're getting our phalangites through in here as well. So let's try and set them up properly so they double line. That'd be great. And we've got our general nearby too so he can... Uh, you know, uh, lend his support and really uh, improve our attack and defense for these guys. So keep on coming, Phalangites. 
And hopefully if we kill them, we can then surround these units. Looks like they're going back to the town square, but oh well. So let's actually get our units down there if they want to go that way. This unit, yeah, you guys just need to get a phalanx set up. But they keep running back on and running off. So I don't really know what to do. We need to get around them. So if you guys could get around them, that'd be great. You don't want to go anywhere, apparently. You don't want to path anywhere here. So uh, we're just going to grind them down then, it looks like. Get the phalanx phalangites in there. Let's try and push them off the town square. And let's grind them to a pulp. Well, we lost about 100 men, but we killed 300. Glorious victory. Another Macedonian city is ours. So I think, again, we'll just occupy again because we don't want to get bad traits with this guy now. And they are still happy, and it is only a town. So, yeah, maybe occupying is a little bit better, of course. Now, at this point, I think early on, enslaving is still a lot better to get the good popu populations in your good areas, should I say. But, yeah, now that we are quite large and expanding, I think it may be better the other way around. But we shall find out and we shall see. We shall try it out. Um, now, let's have a look at Ascurion. Does he still have the diseases? Epidemic of Typhus. Yes, he does. So we are going to wait in here for a turn or two until he gets rid of that. Because, of course, we definitely don't want that in our, <laughs> in our army uh, for any longer than it needs to be. So let's also have a look around. Anything else we need to do apart from building? I don't think so. So again, let's check our recruitment hubs. Larissa up here, still building. Pharsalos is still building as well. But Ferai is not. So I think with Ferai... Let's queue that in. It's going to take seven turns. There's a good chance it may even grow before we get there. But that is absolutely fine. Now, for Nike, let's go for those um, cavalry stables now so that we can have two places where we can get stables. I'm also going to put it down to normal just so that it will keep growing and hopefully tick over that point at some point. Um, and yeah, I think we're good. I think we are good. So let's press the end turn and let's see where we get to. Hmm, this is very, very interesting. That's a lot of money, to be fair. And a ceasefire. I mean, a, what would a ceasefire do for us? That's the main thing. It would allow us to retrain all our armies and sort them all out with better, better hoplites, better units, all that sort of thing. So that is a very good thing. And yeah, I, I just think in general, a nice ceasefire for one or two turns, or maybe... Maybe three turns to get our units back together and our army back together will be plenty. And I think that'll be pretty darn good. It may also allow us to ally with the Seleucids while we're at it. So let's accept this. We've taken Pella, their oh, main thanks. recruitment hub. And I think if we get a good armies together for a second, let's go for the it trade rights too. Proposal. Then I think we're going to be in a good situation. So I'll see you after this end turn, guys, in a newly peaceful land. All the interesting <laughs> diplomatic things are coming in this end turn. So they offer us an alliance, but in return for that, they will attack the Antigonids. Whoever said that diplomacy in Rome Total War is not very good? Because this is one of the best offers I think I've ever seen. Thank you. You're allied to the Antigonids, so... Oh, there you go. We're allied with them. How are you? You you said you were going to attack them. Surely that means they have to declare war on them. But I have no idea. I have no idea. But we are now allied with the Boeotians, even if they don't attack the Antigonids for a turn or two. Hopefully they will, you know, keep that up. And otherwise, I want to see this reputation down at 50 if they don't attack the Antigonids. So another candidate for adoption. He's kind and optimistic. He is an Epirote as well. Bright, magnetic, and vigorous. So 100% want to take this guy. Let's get him in there. And we, like we said before, we do need someone to govern in Pella. So let's send him up north to govern in Pella. Now what I'm going to do is try to get around this Athenian army nice and slowly. And then we're going to destroy this rebel army. I'm going to auto-resolve this. 66 that's not a problem at all. And we're going to send these guys back straight to Ambrakia for retraining. And while we're at it, we'll also send this army back to Ambrakia too. 
so that we have, you know, them all ready for the next set of troops. We'll retrain those boys and we'll get the Ambrachio. More Ambrachio phalangites. Infinite. I'm thinking of training potentially more Deuteroi. Then over here, let's go for another Prodromoi for our secondary army. And another Archer potentially, because we do need some missile troops. They're so useful in sieges that there's no point not taking them. And with this army, we will just convene our, all our armies on Ambrachia for now. And who are we going to leave behind here? Probably an Akontistai. This uh, ceasefire definitely gives us breathing room. So I am quite happy with it. Let's pop out of the city. And let's... Apparently we can't go around that way. So let's go this way. How is the city looking now? Still 90%. Very happy indeed. Do you still have that plague, my friend? Do you still have the plague? No, the plague is gone. Good, good. So he just needed to be in a city for a turn or two. Another son has been adopted. Glorious. And this will just allow us some breathing room. Now, I am very confused by the by the Boeotians. They better be declaring war on the Antigonids soon. They, they're they not an enemy right now. Uh, uh, what? How does this even work? <laughs> the Boeotians are the protectorate of the Antigonids. But they offered to attack the Antigonids for our alliance. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. I really don't know what is going on. But uh, strange di diplomacy going on right now. <laughs> Let's talk to the Seleucids now. Still very demanding for an alliance. Oh, well. How about some of these, uh, like the Bessie, for example? Still demanding. What if I gave you, like, military access? We see no benefit no. to us. I just don't get these Athenian armies. Like, you need to move because you are really just blocking off this area. <laughs> I will declare war on you, Athens, if you carry on doing this. So, <laughs> please, don't do it any longer. So, we've got all of that training. Let's also get another Akontistai in here for garrisons. And yes, we are getting all of our guys back to Ambrachia for some lovely retraining. So we've got a decent amount of money left. That should allow us to build in a lot of places. So let's build in some of our newer areas. Can we go up to high here? Not quite. So not that one because there's nothing in there. Baroya, we definitely want to build in because it's got a mine. So I'm considering getting a big silver mine. It's only 1,600 gold. But well, that'll pay for itself within 10 turns. Like, easily within 10 turns. About 6 or 7 turns. So that is fantastic. So let's go for that. It's very expensive, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. Pelion over here too. Let's go for the sewers. And Argos Arresticon. Let's go for nothing. Over here in Iginion now. Hmm, I ideally want to be building in these places, Dion especially, because they're quite rich. So let's queue in the market there. Are we building in Pella still? We are. Fantastic. You're going up to be the governor of Pella. Fantastic. And then, yes, let's have a look. 3,000 gold left. So Iginion, let's probably go for a market there. Let's. If we're going to get a market, we might as well get it in one of our different other places. So, yeah, I think we have built markets everywhere, actually, down there. That's fine. So, Thebae Pythia TDs is going to be a better option for a market. We've still got enough to build a farmland. So, anywhere, yeah, Falana can build a farmland. Glorious. I'm also going to go through... Let's adjust all our tax rates, just so you can see it all. So, Ambrachia here. We are keeping on low because we want it to grow. Fenike as well... Yeah, do we go for that extra half a percent? I think we do in Fenike. We're still we're making a lot of money now, so growth in some of these regions is more important. Let's keep that on low because it's got a chance of rioting. Normal and high for these places. That's all fine. They're all on about 80%. We'll keep it there for now. Let's have a look. No, we can't uh, adjust that one. How about Ferai? Oh, just so close to being able to adjust that one. Can't adjust that. Looks like we're pretty good in all the places at the minute. Which is good for us. And yeah, most of them, you know, we are doing it on purpose. Falana. Falana's a large town. It's got good growth. So let's go as high as we can with that. With that very high in Larissa. Probably not. A Ginion. Yeah, keep that as it is. 
Ayana, hmm. Now, Ayana is one that we do want to grow. So, strategically, I think we go down to low there, too. What is this? Oh, he's got a governor. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Argos Arresticon. Let's have a look. We can go actually very high in Argos Arresticon. Not really a majorly important one either. Pelion 2. Let's have a look. We can go up to very high too. Fantastic. Baroya also is a minor city. And again, it's got good growth. Um, if we go up like high, we're going to be on zero. So let's keep that on low. Same thing with Pella. We kind of have to keep it on low anyway. But for now, let's keep it on low because I want it to get to Large City so we can actually start training some decent troops. And then finally, Bokiria, the place we just took. And let's leave that. So I think we do one more turn, guys, so we're ready for next episode with our armies. And we keep our spies all around just having a look at what's going on. And we will just get ready for our second war with the Antigonids. And let's just hope that the Boeotians attack their protectorate. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> like, they promised to attack the Antigonids. But we need an alliance anyway. Our first alliance, really. <laughs> I mean, do, do we even have an alliance with the Greek city-states? No. That would be a good one to try and get. I, they do have a settlement around here somewhere, right? That's the Ptolemies. Let's talk to the Ptolemies for now. No, no alliance there. Is this GCS? No, Seleucids have taken it. Although that's... Is that Ptolemy's? One thing... Oh, that is GCS. So if we can get through there, that'd be good to actually talk to them. Fantastic. Well, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we end up. So the Antigonids have got a menacing army there. But we are ceasefired, of course. Allows them to move around a little bit. This Athenian army, if it just wants to fuck off, please. <laughs> that would be great. But let's get our guy up into Pella. Okay, Pella's actually a little bit upset now. Probably because of this religious conversion mechanic. Hmm, what is the issue here then? Faction leaders difference. 35% Un unrest. Well, I'm assuming there is a spy in there then. At least one spy. Maybe two spies. So let's try and get some happiness. Hmm, they're the only two temples we can build. Um... Let's try and get a little bit of happiness at least, though. This guy needs to get some more influence, really, is the, the main thing. We may have to swap some garrisons around, potentially. I mean, 68 there is not fantastic. Would 75 make a difference if we took these guys out? Still only on 64 there. Popped you in if we get out of the way. Let's pop this guy in there, the Akontistai. Still only 64. What about uh, Dion? If we go down to high, they are plenty happy. So we're just going to have to get a good amount of garrison. Okay, there we go. 74. Fantastic. We're just going to have to get a good garrison in there. I don't want to leave a big garrison in there at all. But that's fine. Ceasefire between the Pontics and Thracians. Allies all of these guys now. So let's try and get that alliance with the GCS. We definitely want to be able to get it. Um, who's blocking our way? Bloody Pergamon. But that's fine. Alliance is balanced. I'll give you the map information. I'll give them military access. Surely that's a good enough. No really? Really? What's this compensation, though? 1,500 gold? I mean, our relationship is at zero. That's probably why. Yeah, there we go. Let us put this behind okay, us. that should hopefully help our alliance. Let's give them I map information. General. And still our relationship is at zero. How? Surely we can get. Alliance is generous now. Oh, fantastic. That 100% helps us, especially down the south. Looks like Stratos has been occupied by the Aetolians, though, which is a little bit scary because I do not want to fight the Aetolians if possible. Let's get all of the trained troops out of here. Let's get these guys in, everyone that needs retraining. And let's just pump them in there, too. You guys will have to get retraining next time. Same with you. You can join up. And we pretty much now have two full stacks. Fantastic. That should be good enough to send one of them, not Alexander, the other one this way to clean up all of these mountains and into Illyria too. And then the other one east to deal with them. And then we can start building another one to then take us south. Oh, no. They have Stratos here. So is this... 
Yeah, that is... Okay, that's fine. I don't know how we managed to see that then, but that's good. Epirus. And yes, we built the Epiro recruitment in Pella. Fantastic. Let's keep on going. Let's go to level two. What's that going to allow us to build? Standard troops, pretty much. But we need to get up to level three at least. So we can get Ambrachiotes in there too. That's what we're just going to focus on. Anything else that was built? Ambrachia just got a market. So... I mean, a shipwright would give us loads of cash, right? Yeah, 500 cash, which is very nice indeed. But I think the best thing, although it reduces our taxes, is to get a blacksmith so we can actually get some good um, units in here with more armor and all that sort of thing. In terms of the rest of the building, we are still building in our other recruitment hubs and across in Fenike too. Hello, GCS. We just allied you, so please don't uh, get too upset. Now, over in Dion... Hmm. Once this archer's done, we're just going to send them up to Dion. They're still building. These guys are building the mines now. Fantastic. How about in Argos, Oresticon? Nothing there worth building. Just having a look at some of our newer cities. Just to take it in. Just to see whether it's worth building anything in some of these places. Let's build a sewer in Larissa. As Larissa is a minor city. So it would be nice to make it grow a little bit more. Although we could get recruitment three. But we don't have the infrastructure to back that up just yet. So let's go actually for... That's free population growth, basically, that temple. So it's worth building. Let's build these sewers in somewhere else. Let's try and build something good in our homeland areas. Yeah, nothing really worth it there. Again, nothing. Again, nothing. Oricon. Yeah, these guys just need to grow. Like, that's the main thing. We need to get them up to city. Lucas, let's build the sewers then. And that should be most of our money, unless there's any little, uh, what do you call them, uh, markets or anything like that. But no. So let's end the turn there. One more turn, guys. One more turn. And then we'll be done. So Pioneer is still trying to scam money out of us. Come and attack us, mate. If you think you're hard enough, fucking prove it. You're not hard enough, I promise you. If you think you are, though, come and fucking prove it, you little pussyos. Another candidate for a job adoption, but he's uncharismatic. I'm going to actually reject this. Now, the reason being, if we adopt too many candidates, like if we have a look over here, we've got 24 regions and we've got 49 family members. A lot of those family members are, of course, not quite old enough or females in there as well. So... Yeah, another Pyrrhus over this way, which is cool. Helenos also named his first son Pyrrhus. They both did. <laughs> nice. we got to make sure we choose the right Pyrrhus <laughs> for our empire. But yeah, we've got a lot of guys growing of age. But if we adopt too many, then we won't get any births. And our lines will be, you know, broken. As you can see, like, these guys haven't even married. Like, this guy is married, but no kids yet. Let's have a look. Any more examples? No, there is a few kids. Like, these... This guy here has just been adopted. This guy's not even married. This guy's not married either and got no, you know, kids. So we need to make sure that we are getting kids in there. I'd prefer them to grow up rather than be adopted. Because I think as well, when they grow up and they grow up in a city with academies and that, there's a chance they'll have better traits too. So we'll get better guys as well. Yeah, I thought we might have a couple of spies in here causing unrest. Who would have thought, yeah, there you go, minus 20%. So those two spies have now been found. So he would just had like two spies in there. Let's get this Akontisti into Dion rather than anything else. We can go up to very high again. Fantastic. Glorious. Anything else? Bactria and Parthia are allies. That is truly cursed. That is truly, truly cursed. Um, and Brachia has started training. Fenike has got another unit. Farsalos has some more. So does Ferai. Glorious. And now in Farsalos, we built the city barracks. But we can't train anything more because we need to get to level three. So this place really does need to grow. So let's get that sewer in there just to help it grow a little bit more. Let's also remove all of the guys that were trained, were retrained. Um, let's get them out there. And let's go with everyone that needs retraining again. All of these guys. Let's get in there. So pretty much want to remove the Prodromoi, the Ambrachiotes. Let's leave that general in there. 
And let's go with that. Get these guys. Is this enough yet? No. No. Hmm. Let's leave the general then. And the Akontistai. We don't need to send them in. Probably not the archers. Oh, these Ambrachios also don't need to go in. So there we go. Fantastic. We sorted it out. We sorted it out. Good. That shall allow us to retrain again. Not everyone, but quite a lot of people. In fact, we can probably do this a lot better if I'm actually paying attention. So this unit and this unit can merge. And this unit can merge into there. Can these two... Uh, no, unfortunately not. Any of these units able to merge? No. But that's given us at least one more spot to uh, retrain someone else. So that we're not waiting around here any longer than we have to. In fact, let's not do that. Let's train another Ambrachio in there. And over this way, let's keep on going. I think more Deuteroi. I mean, the Thurio are quite strong. So let's get a Thurio Foroi. I know they're not an amazing unit. But they're not awful either. And this can maybe form the backbone of our next army. And that is all our money, unfortunately. Can actually train in um, Larissa too, like I said previously. So let's make sure we are combining all those troops when we get the chance. Pella two is starting to go. Anyone we can retrain, we can retrain the Akontistai. They can get gold upgrades now. So that actually means that these archers missile attack of five, even with the gold upgrade. Really? Are you sure? Like in Larissa without any upgrade. Is five. So I wonder why that's causing... That's not showing. Hmm. Well, we'll try retrain some archers in there and see what happens. But anyway, a glorious episode, guys. Looks like the two Antigoned armies are coming down together up there in the north. But I think we've got enough now. I think we are in a good position now. You know, we've secured a lot of land. We've got a lot of money coming in. And once we've taken this area as well... We are going to be in a very rich situation. If the Thracians want to attack us, honestly, there will be no mercy for Thracians if they attack us. I mean, our main aim is taking out the Antigonids. But if the Thracians attack us, I guess the Peloponnese can wait and we can go further north. But it's going to be a long and brutal bloody war if we do that. So I guess we'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.